Can you get a sense of Google Cloud Platform machine learning products in just a few minutes? Let's find out. Despite all the attention lately, machine learning still remains somewhat difficult to build, maintain, and deploy. Thankfully for you, Google Cloud Platform puts a lot of that behind the scenes, so you don't have to worry about it. So what does the hello world of ML look like when you don't have to write the neural nets yourself? Simply calling the Vision API to describe what it finds in the picture. As a leader in machine learning, Google Cloud offers several high-quality pre-trained models via APIs that can easily be consumed by developers regardless of the language they use or the nature of their application. Developers can invoke the API directly or using one of the idiomatic client libraries available in numerous programming languages. Here, we invoke the API directly from the product description page. From this image, the API can detect a broad set of labels, provide dominant colors and other image properties. It can also extract text, identify entities such as landmarks, celebrities, logos, or news events along millions of entities that it supports. It can also moderate content, such as all of your app's user-generated content. In addition to the Vision API, GCP offers pre-trained models for text-to-speech, speech-to-text, natural language, translate, all via easy-to-use APIs. Now, pre-trained models are amazingly easy to use, as we've seen, but they're not trained on your set of data. This is where Cloud AutoML comes in. Cloud AutoML is here to enable developers with limited machine learning expertise to train high-quality models specific to their business needs by leveraging Google's state-of-the-art transfer learning and neural architecture search technology. Cloud AutoML provides a simple graphical user interface for you to train, evaluate, improve, and deploy models based on your own data. You're only a few minutes away from your own custom machine learning model. Now, the ML APIs and Cloud AutoML are great when you want to use or build upon a pre-trained model that Google already has training for. But what if your needs are beyond that? Well, that basically requires training your own models with your own data sets on your own virtual machines. And I don't know about you, but I don't always have time for that, which is why I use Cloud Deep Learning VM Image. These Google Compute Engine instances come pre-installed with the latest versions of TensorFlow, PyTorch, and Scikit-Learn. You can also add Cloud TPU and GPU support with a single click. This image also comes with the latest software drivers and third-party dependencies, including the latest GPU software, and is available using the GCP Marketplace from the console or using the command line. If you'd like to get the operations out of the way and focus on your models, consider using Cloud AI Platform, which offers fully managed training and prediction services for developers and data scientists. You can build your models with multiple ML frameworks, including Scikit-Learn, XGBoost, Keras, and of course, TensorFlow. Cloud AI Platform trains any model at large scale on a managed cluster. Hypertune is a unique feature that enables you to reach better results faster by automatically tuning deep learning hyperparameters. Cloud AI Platform then offers online predictions adjusting to any request rate coming from your ML-enabled applications, and does so through a secure web endpoint. Batch predictions are also supported for really cost-effective inference from asynchronous apps. Whether you're new to machine learning or you're already an expert, GCP has a variety of tools to help you, from pre-trained ML models accessible via simple API call to customizing models with AutoML, to training and serving a custom TensorFlow model using Compute Engine or a Cloud AI platform. Consider taking free code labs linked in the description below to explore these products. Check out the Compute and Big Data Overview episodes and look forward to an upcoming video on big data storage and processing. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. See you soon for another GCP Essentials video.